Hi world, happy new year everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Hope you had a nice holiday. Um, let me know how your holidays were. Did you have to spend them with relatives and their dogs, uh, friends? Did they bring their dogs over? Uh, just let me know how you managed. How did you survive the holidays? I uh, saw this picture, this meme today and it cracked me up. I thought I would share it with you. Dogs will hump anything, animate or inanimate. That's because their brains are the size of lemons or smaller. And they're just so instinct driven and brainless. They don't even care if it's a tire. Anyway, so I saw this meme. I also got invited to this Facebook group and uh, I was checking it out earlier and I saw a lot of really good stuff in it. And I thought I would just make a quick video. Uh, to share some of the things I saw with you. Uh, it's really encouraging. I saw uh, there uh, are some new videos on YouTube of people explaining why they hate dogs. Seems to me more people are speaking up about this. I'm seeing more and more anti-dog Facebook groups popping up. I don't know what's going on on Reddit or Twitter or Instagram or whatever. I'm old, but whatever social media apps you use, check it out. Just, you know, let me know what's out there. Uh, I don't do a lot on Facebook, and that's the only social media I'm on, so uh, I'd like to know uh, what you guys have found. Let us know in the comments. People have completely lost their minds. Uh, I uh, have made a series of random dog shit videos, random dog and cat shit videos. This is going to be something similar to that, although I think this is going to be my last one. Like this person uh, wrote in the group the my apologies but i hate dogs facebook group they're really tired of seeing pictures of dogs they joined this group to get away from pictures of dogs and to be part of a non-judgmental place to bitch about dogs and their moronic owners it seems like there's more pictures of dogs here than a site for people who love dogs if you're looking for a group that does not share pictures of dogs maybe this isn't the group for you but this is what I want to do with my channel, guys. In the future, I really want to uh, show less dog imagery and more beautiful imagery. I'm, I really am tired of seeing dogs and thinking about dogs. And I have to tell you guys something that uh, you know, I was thinking about New Year's resolutions. And something that I really want to do this year is to focus less on the dog menace because... I want to improve my mental health and focusing on this huge problem makes me very upset and angry and disgusted and, and it just really is taking a toll on my mental health. Even looking at pictures of dogs makes me upset. So I'm realizing that maintaining this channel is uh, really, uh, it's not easy for me. It's becoming difficult for me to you know create content for you on a regular basis so uh i i do not plan to quit entirely but i'm going to be slowing down because uh i just need to focus on other things uh, i feel like i've done enough actually i've made over 200 videos and uh, i really think it's time for other people to start creating their own content because we need more voices So yeah, this is going to be my last video with disgusting imagery. I saw this. This chick is French kissing a dog while on duty at work. And judging from her uniform and the background, that's a medical facility. I don't know what the heck is going on with people. How has it become acceptable to bring dogs into hospitals? This is just insane. Dogs are filthy. But... People are kissing them on the mouth, and uh, I can't even look at this. You think this one's bad? Wait till you see the next video clip. Get ready for this, guys. 
puts the dog's tongue in her mouth. Does she not see her dog licking its anus multiple times a day, licking its balls or its genitals, whatever? Dogs lick fire hydrants. They lick urine off trees and grass, urine from other dogs. Healthy dogs have capnocytophaga bacteria in their saliva, which can cause you to lose your limbs and die. Now, you may have seen this video. I don't know if this is real or not. Let me know what you think. It could be staged, because I mean, why is somebody taking a video of this right now? But uh, I'll tell you something. I would not be surprised if this were real, because take a look at this. I have joked in the past about how dog worshippers get high uh, by huffing dog shit fumes, but it's not a joke, guys. Dog worshippers genuinely like the smell of dog farts and dog shit. Look at this. To anyone who understands how essential oils or fragrance oils for candle making are made, how can I make a candle that smells like my pug's farts? This is real, guys. These deranged people love the smell of dog shit have a look at this here's a guy that brings his dog to a dog show or competition uh obviously he believes his dog is well trained but the dog proceeds to attack him look at this well trained dog right look at its balls hanging how is that even acceptable that is so indecent and we have to look at this every single day. But look at this dog attacking the guy. It's a well-trained dog. My boss brought her dog to work. This is how he looks at us when we're eating in the break room. Nobody should be bringing their dog to work. It is, it should be like a human rights violation, you know, to bring a dog to work. As I've discussed in my videos, one in 20 people suffer from a crippling fear of dogs. Do dog worshippers care? Not at all. Many, many more are uncomfortable around dogs, anxious, disgusted. We don't like being around dogs. And you know what? 15% of people suffer from dog allergies. Why are people bringing their dogs into the workplace? or any other public place for that matter. I'll tell you why. It's because dog worshippers have zero empathy. They have narcissistic characteristics. They just don't care. And if you complain and tell them that their dog is making you suffer, they will react with hostility or indifference, or they will laugh at you. You know, they'll tell you to get over it or whatever. They will not have any empathy for you. Take your allergy pills, and who cares about the side effects, and suck it up. So SA, what is SA? San Antonio? South Africa? I'm pretty sure it's not Saudi Arabia. Has lost its damn mind with this doggo love. First, there is a push here to make more restaurants over 21 because human children are too annoying when they go out to eat. And there is another push by groups to make SA restaurant scene patio pup friendly. And most people here want this. So you can't take your kiddos out to eat, but doggo is okay. People are mentally gone. They are deranged. This is insane. When did this become normal or acceptable? These people belong in a mental institution. And why? Because I'll tell you why. You know, people, they think of themselves as libertarian or whatever. Oh, liberty. Oh, the pursuit of happiness. Me, me, me. I live the way I want, do what I want. You live in a society. You are a social animal. You depend upon other humans for your survival. And if the society you live in is sick, then you are going to suffer directly from that. If you're not taking care of the other people in your society, crime rates are going to skyrocket. There will be more degeneracy. It's, it's going to be a nightmare. And it has already become a nightmare because people are not investing in children. If you treat children like crap, they're going to grow up and they're going to run the show. And, and they're going to be so damaged 
and and this is what we're seeing and they are damaged to the society we live in is so screwed up everybody suffers if you want a healthy you want to be healthy and happy you need a healthy happy society and anybody who places the value of a dog above that of a child is just so deranged there are no words for this dogs are not going to do anything for us they're not going to be running the police department they aren't going to be going into politics you know what i'm saying we need healthy citizens and you get healthy citizens by making them by raising them properly and making them feel loved and wanted <clears throat> anyway see my other videos and feeding human grade food to dogs is a disgrace we're talking about animals that would be happy to eat feces and to slurp up vomit these mutants and they are mutants see my video called a freak of nature they would be happy probably happier to munch on used tampons or used underwear used tissues full of your snot and you want to feed them watermelon and fresh food that is fit for a human feed humans why aren't why are these people not feeding starving humans this is just so disgraceful and just so infuriating and disgusting someone posted in that facebook group Tonight, my girlfriend who I live with told me that she views me as less of a person because I don't like dogs and don't like her three dogs I'm forced to live with and told me that they are at the absolute top of her list of most important things in her life. <laughs> her dogs are more important than her boyfriend. This is very common and this has become acceptable. And look at this picture and look at this video. I'll just let you watch this. This dog has a unique face. How he got this way will surprise you. I saw his photo on the kennel's Facebook page and it just, it made me cry. I actually cried. Just feel so drawn that I would look at that picture like multiple times a day. There's just something about his face. I can't, like, I don't know what it is. It's just so cute. Amanda showed him and I was one of those people who was like, ah, we don't need a dog, we'll be okay. So she's like, no, let's just go say hi. So then when we had to go meet her. Brody's face is one thing that makes him special, but how he became that way may not be what you'd expect. His mom bit him on the face when he was 13 days old. This guy is the one that he can see out of. His little eye is the one that he's partially blinded. His jaw is fused shut and can only open about an inch and a half. That will probably never change. Dogs are so unconditionally loving, yet they will bite their babies on the face and disfigure them. Dogs are remorseless. They do not feel guilt. You know, this mother dog disfigured its baby, felt nothing about it. 3% of humans lack a conscience, while 100% of dogs lack a conscience. I talked about this in my video called Dogs Do Not Smile and They Do Not Love You. Check it out. But these dog worshippers go on and on as if these dogs are just so amazing and loving. And I've produced videos in which I talk about virtue signaling. People want to show the world what wonderful people they are, how kind-hearted and loving they are. And one way of doing that, uh, this has become the trend now, it's to purchase a dog that is deformed. And the more deformed, the better. They will claim that the dog is beautiful and so cute when it looks hideous and grotesque. Yet they will claim it's beautiful. And the message is, look at me, I am such a great person. I am choosing to love this dog that most people would reject. I am such a better person than they are. If you were such a wonderful person, you would not purchase a dog. You would not introduce a dog into your community because doing so is extremely selfish and it is very destructive to the community. Your choice to own a dog affects everybody in your community. Your dog is going to be killing grass and trees and polluting water with its untreated waste. It's going to be spreading disease with its untreated waste. It's going to be barking. Its barking is going to ruin the health of the people who live in your community.
It's going to breed violence between you and your neighbors, discord. It may ruin relationships. It is diverting time, attention, love, money, resources away from other humans who need those things in order to contribute to a healthy society. It may bite someone. It may disfigure someone. It may kill someone. Dogs harass wildlife and livestock. Dogs have driven over a dozen animal species to extinction and threaten over 200 more. I mean, if you're a really good person, you wouldn't own one of these abominations, these man-made mutants. So Snapchat has this filter that basically Disneyfies your Disneyfies your dog. Uh, crazy. This is something I made a video about. Dogs are not loyal. People keep saying dogs are loyal. How how can anyone believe this? As soon as you open your door, your dog is going to run. <laughs> Everywhere you look, you see people putting up posters or posts on social media about their lost dogs. Because dogs are constantly running away from their owners. Why are they doing this if they are so loyal? These girls got photobombed hard. Got that room rich with the aroma of bulldog bunghole. You know, I've talked about this in a lot of my videos. Dog owners are so disgusting. They're just on another level of disgusting. They will call children disgusting because when they're sick with a cold, they'll have a snotty nose, right? Dogs have snotty noses all the time, even when they are not sick. And they're constantly lapping up their snot. Look at a dog. Almost every picture I see of a dog is, is a picture of the dog licking its snot. And, and dog worshippers think this is adorable. The dog is slurping up its snots. Now, these same people who think this is so cute will think that children are disgusting for doing the very same thing. I mean, it's it's just crazy. Dogs rub their snots all over people's windows and they call it nose art. But they wouldn't call it nose art if human children rub their snots all over the windows, would they? And here are some pictures of condiments made specifically for dogs. Dogs! These are animals that would rather eat feces, snot, earwax, semen, the most disgusting things you can think of. Vomit, shit, they will drink urine. Now, this picture just makes me angry. And a lot of other people share my reaction. Because, and what is it? I think it's because they are anthropomorphizing the dog. You know what I mean? Humanizing it. Dogs don't smile. They make it look like this dog is smiling. There are people who actually believe that this dog is smiling. It isn't. It's just the configuration of its mouth. Dogs don't smile just like dolphins don't smile. Or crocodiles don't smile. It, it, the configuration of their mouth is just the configuration of their mouth. It's not a smile. But they think dogs have these qualities that they are just not capable of having. And this sort of thing is what is driving this insanity. Now, another reason I have lost some motivation to create content uh, is because I'm really upset with YouTube for having deleted a number of my videos uh, claiming that I violated the community guidelines. You will find many videos like this one on YouTube and everyone's laughing about it, and ha ha ha, big joke. And that's fine with YouTube. But I come along and I upload footage, like videos that are found on YouTube. I stitch them together, put them into a video and call it sexual assault. And I get my videos removed, deleted. I get censored. I have a strike on my channel now because, uh, Apparently, uh, talking about breeding stands and calling it rape, uh, you know, ooh, that's a big no-no. But it's fine for the breeders to upload these videos and have them up on YouTube as a form of education. Because, uh, you know, they're teaching people how to do the female dogs a kindness. Because using these 
stands in which the female dogs are strapped in and unable to escape is uh, kinder than letting the dogs breed naturally because they might fight or whatever. It's as insane as putting a female human into a similar breeding rack stand or whatever and, uh, and, and then claiming that you're doing her kindness. Clearly, if a human was thrusting his penis into this guy's face. Now, I don't know if this guy is passed out or sleeping or what. I don't know what the story is. But uh, this is not okay. This is not funny. If a human was doing this, this would be sexual assault. It makes no difference that it is a dog doing it. A penis is a penis, is it not? A horny animal thrusting its penis into your face is a horny animal thrusting its penis into its face into your face. Dogs are animals, humans are animals. What is the difference? Why is one funny and the other not? Anyway, this huge dog had explosive diarrhea all over the car seat. Uh, and they put it up on social media with a little note. Oh, so funny. I weigh over 150 pounds. A diarrhea pooped exploded all over the inside of mom's car. By the way, you can only be a mother to a human child. <laughs> I can't believe I have to point that out. I had recently dined on cat poop. Mom's car insurance agent is laughing at her. I don't know why people put up with this. My dog did the same thing, used to eat cat poop, come in the house and puke it up, and it didn't take long for me to realize I did not want to live this way, and I did not have to live this way, and I got rid of the damn disgusting thing. Someone shared this picture in the group. It was spotted in a pregnancy group. Let me see your fur babies and bump. Look at where this dog's face is. How? Do people not see how obscene this is and disgusting? It's revolting. I also saw some pictures in the group that made me laugh, like this one. My boy Sergio. Ah, this picture and others like it that you will see everywhere makes me livid. People who allow their dogs to lick their babies should be in jail. This is so disgusting. Do you know where that dog's tongue has been all day long? I just can't understand these people. I will never understand this level of disgusting. Virtually all dogs are infested with worms. It's not a question of whether your dog has worms. It's a question of how many worms it has. This is child endangerment. Not only because the dog can bite the child or kill the child with its teeth, but because dogs transmit diseases. Do you care about your babies? Then don't put a dog close to your baby. Get your baby away from dogs. They are predators that see your baby as prey. Ay, ay, ay. I have talked about how bestiality has become normalized. It's all over YouTube. And if you eat food that is prepared in a home that has pets, count on ingesting pet hair. I won't even enter the home of a person who owns a dog or a cat now. Because I know that their homes are contaminated. Receiving a present with dog hair on the tape or cat hair would be... I, I don't think I would open it. I wouldn't. I would not. I would give it to someone before even opening it. Because that is how disgusting these people are. I don't want anything that contaminated. These animals lick their butts all day long and then lick all over their bodies. These hairs are covered in traces of urine and feces. Worm eggs, potentially? No thank you. Isn't it hilarious that this man cannot sit on his own couch because the dogs have been elevated to such a status? You know, people play this off as a joke, but it's not a joke. This is the actual reality we are living in right now. Dogs are viewed as superior to humans. This is dog worship. If you look for it, you will see it everywhere. Under my community tab, I recently put up a post of uh, people who wrap up their Christmas trees. Actually, you know, they put a fence around it to keep the dog away from it. But 
where I found that picture was on Facebook. I also saw pictures of people that wrap up their Christmas trees with like plastic wrap so the cats won't, you know, get at the balls and the dogs won't destroy the tree. Like, why do people live this way? Look at this. They're driving around with their dog looking at Christmas lights. The dog is not in awe of Christmas lights. The dog is looking for other dogs and cats or other small animals that it can attack or children. It is interested in prey or, or anything that looks like prey. It is sniffing the air for whatever is interesting in the air, whatever scent is, you know, on the breeze. Uh, the dog is, has no appreciation of beauty, of, of, of you know, the, the magic of Christmas lights. <laughs> Again, this is an example of anthropomorphism. And, 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 you know, we need to call this out when we see it. You'll see a lot of this kind of stuff. I went to the park today and this lady with a huge golden retriever was walking by me and it walked up to me and I moved away and she said, it's okay, she won't bite, she's real gentle. And I told her I didn't care, I still didn't want to pet the dog and she got all butt hurt and huffed off. Not two minutes later, I saw it snap at a little kid, maybe two or three years old. Yeah, she won't bite my ass. Dog owners always say, my dog is friendly. Right before it bites someone. Over and over and over, you he you hear stories like this, and yet they get away with, you know, telling us that dogs are so loving and pure and innocent and blah, blah, blah. Sickening. These people are nuts. Dogs are ruining our relationships. I made a video about this. Dogs are extremely destructive. And, you know, why do people live this way? Why do they put up with it? Here is more evidence that people hate children and don't want them around, but they want dogs to be allowed at more and more places. Our culture has gone down the toilet, people. This is insane. If you visit these dog forums and... Well, what, what is this? This is not even a dog for mum life, keeping it real group. I need to vent. Tonight, my brother-in-law's dog bit my daughter's face. <laughs> and, in, you know... The story after story of dogs that showed no aggression, that were the best family dogs ever for years, that suddenly, out of the blue, unprovoked, ripped someone's face off. And instead of being, like, in your right mind and telling the person to get rid of the dog, put it down, you'll just see people talking about how they should not get rid of the dog. Oh, you never get rid of your dog, you know? No matter what the dog does, you you got to work with it, train it, blah, 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 blah. It's just crazy, crazy how people value dog life over human life, even when we're talking about dogs that have injured people, <sighs> disfigured people. They will still be encouraged to keep it. I mean, and this is normal. And these people portray themselves as kind and loving and morally superior to people like us who want these attacks to stop, who want nothing to do with dogs, who do not want dogs in our communities. So if you are interested in joining a group where you can meet up with like-minded people and, and, and see similar posts to the ones I shared with you in this video, check out this Facebook group and others like it. And check out other social media apps, like I said, and uh, check out our Discord server. I will put a link to it in the description. Uh, our numbers are growing, but what I think is happening is that there is a silent majority out there of people who are really fed up of this insanity. But they are afraid to speak out because they know the backlash they will get. They know how socially unacceptable it is to say, I hate dogs. But guess what, guys? It's becoming more acceptable as more and more people speak out. And soon, you know, the scale will tip. The, that tipping point will be reached and it will become socially unacceptable to own dogs and to say you love dogs. That will be viewed as weird. 
The difference between us and dog worshippers is that we have facts, we have statistics, we have peer-reviewed science, and we have expert opinions on our side, while dog worshippers have myths, factoids, delusions, and denial on their side. The future is dog-free.